practical support can range from the social aspect of it. It's about having those social networks so people don't become isolated in their own homes really. But it can also be the smaller things such as minor repairs to your home. For maintaining dignity I think it's important for people to be able to have a clean home, um, to have a tidy garden. But if support services are put in place earlier, it can sort of prevent crisis occurring. And those are the kinds of things that, you know, can really affect people if they're not able to do those things themselves. A neglected garden could highlight a person's vulnerability to exploitation or abuse. These days we are promoting more services for people to maintain their dignity and stay in their own home. And the Handy Person Service does promote this by offering practical help and support. Practical assistance, the Handy Person Service. The service started because people need this service to enable them to stay in their own home and we're there to help them with their day-to-day -day tasks and jobs that they need doing. It can be anything very simple like a curtain rail or Hello? Hello. putting up pictures or shelves. Hi, I'm Duncan from Age UK. Oh yes, good, I've been yeah. waiting to see you. I understand yes. you want some uh, rails fitted. That's right, for rails. Rails. getting in and out. Of we it. do grab rails which also enables them to remain independent um, and giving them that safety as well. A bit higher, I think. Not too high. When they do something, it has to be perfect. Every bit of decorating in this house you can see now it's been done by me. Yeah, I think I should be okay. Right. Yeah. Well, I've had these guardrails, not guardrails, but these rails to get in and out of the front door and the back door. But although I'm uh, 87, and I'm very lucky to be so agile, if you could call it agile, I'm not very, <laughs> not very agile, but uh, um, my biggest problem is I can't walk very far. Well, I, I could tell you a few tales about just recently, this year, yeah, this year where I fell. Well, I don't think there's ever been a stage where I couldn't get out. There might be, you never know, because I mean, I have got problems with me. My knees are a bit um, athletic, uh, athletic, so that's the word. By just doing simple tasks, this makes them secure, and having a nice environment to live is really important for people because it promotes their mental and physical well being and promotes their independence. I suppose I could have tried to do it, but um, some of the things that um, I have to, I've done, I've been a bit pushed to do them, you know what I mean? There is a charge for the service. Some people pay either cash on the day or we do actually invoice them. Some people do pay through their personal budgets. If I had the choice of living somewhere else, I would say no, I want to stay here. Hello, Hello. all done, sir. I think they will be quite useful, very much so now. Um, I'm glad I haven't done anyway. Yes, I do. I am glad I haven't done actually. I thought I might need one on the other side as well, but no. If I use my other hand, it you know it doesn't matter really. That is fabulous. So you can use that for quite, for stepping in and out. Practical assistance is extremely important because it offers people the opportunity to stay in their own homes, to stay in their own communities, and remain connected. Practical assistance, the befriending service. Oh, this is Penny. She's my befriender. She uh, comes every Wednesday. It started out f four years ago. And some days she comes on a Wednesday and some days she comes on a Thursday. But it doesn't make any difference to me as long as she comes. I um, prepare her tea for her and uh, have that ready, more or less. And... Uh, she tells me what she's done, and I tell her what I've done, which is never now is not not all that much. It literally is just a friendship. Do you know? What I mean, it's nothing like it's not. I'm not caring for her at all. It's literally this is a friendship. It's a normal friendship. I know I'm not going to be on my own all day. Well, it means everything to me. I mean, I could don't know what I'd do without it now. Our specific aim is to address social isolation amongst older people and more broadly to offer friendship choices and independence. A befriending relationship was uh, going really well and we developed a phone neighbours scheme which is a peer-to-peer -peer friendship support group where we would link three or four people who will ring each other once a week by phone and the friendships naturally unfold. Practical assistance 
phone neighbours. The main thing is to keep people connected. They're chatting with peers. Hello. Hello, is that Pam? Oh, hello. I'm Maisie and I live on my own and have a lovely view from my window. The only sad thing is we used to have a lovely community spirit here, but people, as used to get older, either pass away or move on. How are you? Now I've got four neighbours through Age UK. Oh, I know, it's wicked. Well, you don't feel so lonely. There's always somebody there at the end of the phone. We can talk about things. You can get away from your, from your problems. We're friends. That's what we are, we're friends. I would say it creates a community for people to belong to and it gives a sense of self-worth. You still have a lot to give. Anyway, I'll let you get on with your packing. Being in four neighbours gives me something to look forward to and somebody to talk to. But you know, I wish we had some men in the four neighbours because I'm trying to get myself fixed up. <laughs> Bye for now. Bye. Practical Assistance, the Casserole Club. I was on Facebook one evening and Casserole Club popped up, clicked on the Casserole Club banner and it explained all about it. Basically, you sign up. Um, once you've passed all the checks, you can pick um, a person, people that are nearest to you, which has ended up being Janet, and then you cook for them, basically. You're given some contact details. I spoke to Janet, she told me some of the things she liked and disliked. I don't like parsnips and I don't like dumplings. So now we cook every Wednesday, I go and visit her and give her her meal. Normally I cook my meal and then plate it up for Janet. I really love cooking and using all fresh ingredients, so it's nice to share that with someone as well. Usually we share a drink or something, have a bit of a chat, and she normally would eat after I've left. It seemed like an amazing idea. And also meeting someone new, um, who ended up being totally amazing anyway, and uh, just an amazing opportunity for both people. I've been living here now nearly 10 years. I am hopefully reaching 93, hopefully. It's someone to look forward to. It's nice to have a meal prepared, because you haven't had to think about it really miserable this morning. It's going to get worse during the weekend. I know when she's coming, usually, what time, she usually tells me. And then she brings the intercom. Hello! Hi! And she comes in and I just sit and wait and then when she gets to the door she calls out, calls in my name. Hey Janet! Hi! How are you? Great dinner for you, shall I put it on the table? Yes, And then she comes and uh, brings me my meal, which is always very nice. Um, pork chops today, Janet, and some rice pudding for you. Oh. It makes me feel like I'm helping Janet out. It's a way of introducing people, which you can then develop however you like. So it should be a natural occurrence that neighbors kind of look after themselves. It, it has just made it safer for people, for, for the, the person cooking and for the person receiving. You know you've got to eat yourself and you've got to keep going, but it isn't the same interest as having somebody to cook for other than yourself. What Claire provides for me is very good and I'm very happy with it and I'm very satisfied. Practical assistance, enabling people to access the internet. I'm Charmian Lovell and I live at home in my own house and I've lived here over 58 years. Oh, it's very important to me to be able to be independent in my own house rather than a nursing home. Since I have been older, I have had considerable support Paul has taught me everything to do with the screen and the uh, email. And then I put John Lewis, a typical example of a shop. And John Lewis has been my example of getting miscellany online. 
online shopping allows people to continue to do things for themselves. My years don't allow me to go too far down the line of email because the world is at one's fingertips and I'm not really quite up to the world sometimes. <laughs> but uh, I do enjoy um, endeavouring to play about. I am part of her support network. She has other people coming in, but I'm generally part of that. And it's getting to a point now where she's looking forward to that. Oh, Paul makes a huge difference to me. Uh, it means that photographs and uh, memorabilia of all sorts um, come on the email and if I don't do it, Paul does it for me now. Oh, it, it means a lot. Practical assistance, hospital discharge scheme. Well, I was uh, walking perfectly normally down the road. One minute I was walking normally and the other seemed to be flying through the air. And then I landed. Bang. Oh, and I was squealing. I'd broken my hip. That was it. I was in the hospital then. Yeah. Good morning, Sheila. How are you doing? Today? I'm really oh, housebound oh, oh, at the moment because I, I can't go anywhere. <laughs> so how's things been this week then? Uh, I'm Julie Doherty. Um, I work for Ear UK Discharge Service Sunderland. It's offering no. practical help to people. Um, you know, the likes of doing housework or doing shopping if they need prescriptions, beds changing, well, practical the things that people could normally do, but because of them bed, being in hospital, they can't do. Julie's been really a godsend to me. She has, indeed. And um, when you think what has to be done, there might be little things but they mean a lot Hi, Sheila. Uh -huh. when you're yeah. going around with crutches. Sheila at the moment, she can't really put too much weight on the, on her hip. So I come in and I do a shop once a week. I'm back again. Are you? Yeah. Other things as well I've helped with, like washing or putting things, shopping away, things like that, or making a cup of tea. or uh, With our support, it means that she's in at one home. She's with Misty, who she loves very much. It's a learning curve for me and... You always have to respect the way the people live. Because I live a certain way doesn't mean that's the right way for them. We've got a little problem with the stuff that's uh, on the settee at the moment. Is there any sort of order that So works? she's going to help me with uh, to get rid of as much as we can. <laughs> it's got to go. I suggested last week that how would you feel if we actually did this, you know, and Sheila was happy to do it, which is great. It helps me tremendously because uh, I need someone to rely on. And if you haven't got someone that you can rely on, you've had it. And uh, she's provided that for me. It's uh, a big help.